my name is Usher and I'm here to talk to you today about balance and the precarious nature of human balance. This is Deepak. Deepak will serve as my model uh, for the various demonstrations. Um, think about humans. Uh, it's the, the defining evolutionary characteristic uh, relates to human locomotion is that we are uh, there are actually only two fully bipedal creatures, kangaroos and humans. Um, and the human locomotion is obviously different from that of the kangaroo. But in uh, human locomotion, every time you take a step, the full weight of the body shifts onto one foot. And the brain is working quite hard to keep the balance, uh, uh, to keep your balance. Guruji, BKSA Engar, always said that you must understand that the body is always in motion. And I want to demonstrate that for you and because it relates to bipedalism. So I want to ask Deepak is in Tadasana at the moment in mountain pose. I'm going to ask him to cross his arms to keep his arms close to the body and uh, while he's in uh, he's got both feet on, on on the ground which is more stable than obviously one foot on the ground I'll ask him to shut one eye and ask him to shut both eyes and if you do this you can you can actually see that there is a little bit of motion in the body from right to left and forward to back as the brain searches to keep his body over the center of gravity. Okay, open your eyes. And we'll take this one more level. Uh, again, hold your arms across your chest. With one, shift your weight to either the left or the right leg so that you're balanced on one, one foot. Okay. Now that you're steady, shut one eye. Now shut them both. <laughs> Having lost his visual sense, the, the balance system requires input from three sources. Vision, the vestibular system in the middle ear, the little crystals and the hairs that uh, keep you upright, and proprioception, proprioception signals that come from the body that also tell you where you are in space.